Can you tell me something? Whenever you have a negative like this, what numbers imply to be there? One. So if you have like a negative one, that's really what we're distributing, is a negative one. If we distribute negative one, let's, let's watch what happens here. Negative one times x, how much is negative one times x, please? Good. Now, how much is negative one times positive y? How much is that? Negative y. I'm going to put, instead of negative y, I'll put minus y. We change that back to a minus. That's, we're kind of tricking the problem a little bit. Minus y. You all okay with that? Yeah. So essentially, what does this negative do in front of your parentheses? Did it change the values? It didn't change the x and the y, it just changed the signs. Positive x became negative, plus y became minus y. A negative in front of your parentheses will simply change every sign in front of your parentheses. So basically, this just changes the sign. Basically just changes the signs. Okay, I'm going to give you a few to do on your own. Let's work through these. Uh, if you need help, raise your hand. I'll come around and I'll help you out with this. There you go. Okay, we're about to get started up here. So we're distributing, we're taking the value of outside of our parentheses times each of the terms inside of our parentheses. Now, first one, we're distributing the six. It's just got to be multiplied by both of those terms. As long as you take the number with the sign and you multiply those two things, the signs will take care of themselves. We don't have to even worry about it. We just write whatever we get when we multiply in our head. So our six times our four x. What's six times four x? Four x. So we're going to write out 24 x. Then we multiply the 6 times what? 
11. 11? Minus negative, 11. Negative, negative, negative. negative. So you've got to think about that like with a sign. So here, <coughs> we ignore our 4x for a second. We do 6 times negative 11. You get how much out of that? <coughs> negative. 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 So we have right. the... Minus, minus 66. Minus. Yeah, that's exactly right. How have we got that in right? Okay, next up, we'll distribute our negative 4. Again, we circle the number with the sign. So when we distribute negative 4, negative 4 times positive x, you have to be getting negative 4x there. Did you get negative 4x? No. Yeah. Usually, honestly, almost everybody gets the first term right. Everybody gets the first term right. That, that one's not the one where people mess up. Usually this is going to work out just fine. You get negative 4x. It's typically the second one that people, people mess up on a little bit because of the signs. Plus well, one. Plus. Would you explain why it's going to be plus 8y? Two two negative 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 positive. Positive. Good. We're, this is definitely a negative. This we're considering to be a negative. We're kind of cheating the problem a little bit. One last time on why this is possible. It's possible because you can write this as a plus negative. Since that's possible, we're treating that like a negative 2y. We're just not showing those steps. So negative times negative is certainly a positive. Can I combine those? No. no. Okay, moving on. Negative 5. We'll distribute this to both of these terms. Negative 5 times negative 2y, what do we get? Negative positive 10y. Ten 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 yeah. yeah, it's got to be a positive. A negative times a negative is a positive. Next, we'll have negative 5 times positive 5. This negative is why we're circling that number with the sign to take that negative with minus us. 25. 25. We're good to go on that. Would you raise your hand if you got both, all three of those right? Good for you. Wait a second. I didn't show you one with three terms. Is it still possible? Yeah, sure. Yeah, you're just extending the concept. If we have two here, we multiply by both of them. We have three here, we multiply by all three of them. That's the only difference here. So when we distribute this, tell me the first term we're going to get, please. Negative eight. Negative eight. Good. Next term we're going to get. Plus 14. Perfect. Yeah, negative and a negative gives us a positive, so we're going to write plus. And then lastly, we're going to have negative minus 16. 16. Yep, negative times a positive gives us a negative. We write our minus out. Can't combine any of that. We have m and n and then a number. Can't do that. How about the last one? Essentially, what happens on the last example? Put a minus sign. You just change the signs. That's really all that's going to happen. That negative is going to change every sign inside. The way you can think about that, if you'd like to show the math on it, this really is like a negative 1. When we distribute negative 1, it doesn't change any of the numbers themselves, but just change the signs. So negative 1 times 5x is negative 5x. Negative 1 times positive 2y is negative or minus 2y. And then negative 1 times negative 3z with positive plus 2z. Yeah, that's as far as we can go on those. Do you guys feel okay about this? How many people do feel just fine? Are you ready to step it up a little bit? Sure. No. The answer to that question is always yes. Yes, we are ready. Well, that's what you hear. Yeah. That's what I hear. <laughs> I have a very selective hearing, my friend. So we're going to do some more on this stuff. I'm going to start building these problems up until they look kind of complex. Now, the thing you've got to realize is that we're not going to be doing anything different than distributing and combining like terms. That's all we're doing. It's just I'm adding more to it at once. Are you, are you ready to tackle this problem? We'll try. I think you can do it there. We can do that one, right? Well, now I'm just going to, that's a plus, yeah. Now I'm just going to keep adding things onto it. So what would happen if I do this and then subtract 15? That's all I'm doing. I'm just going to add more and more to these problems. So that would be negative 15, right? Minus 15 at the very end. We'll, we'll talk about that in just a second, okay? So. We're going to treat this like any other distribution problem that we have. We certainly have to get rid of the parentheses. My question to you is this. Let's look up at the board here real quick. I know some of you are doing this on your own. That's great. I'm glad for you. Uh, I want to know, does this 4 get distributed to the 2 and the 8? Just the 2, just the 8? The 2, the 8, and the 15? Which one? 2, two and the 8. What about to the 15? No. 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 Why not? It's not in parentheses. Yeah, it's different than this, right? This was all in parentheses. That's why it went to that third term. But here, this 4 is just going to be distributed here and here. 
Let's do that part first. We'll distribute just what's in the parentheses, and then we'll combine like terms. So our ideas are distribute, and then combine like terms. Distribute first, then combine like terms. Let's do that together using our, our method that we just learned. Can you please tell me the first term I get when I distribute? Eight. eight. I like the eight. eight. Had to make sure on that one. Uh, so we got our eight for sure, and then what's the next term we're going to get? Plus 32x. Plus, good because it's positive, 32x. Okay, and, and we're done, right? Mm -hmm. so we, minus minus yeah. we have that minus 15 at the end of this. So I want you to notice that really what we have here is basically just two problems in one, uh, both of which you've done before now. You've done the distribution. You've done distribution now. We've, we've done all that. But this is just a combining like terms problem, which we've also done in this section just two days ago. So question, can you combine some, do you have like terms here? Yes. Yeah. Oh, that's a negative 15 and an 8. Sure. That means we can combine. So combine like terms, 8 and negative 15 gives me what? <laughs> Cross them out. And how about the 32x? Is there anything with the 32x? No. 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 So we just write plus 32x. Exactly what we have there. That's the answer. Well, can we combine those any further? No. 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 Then you're done. <coughs> so we distribute first like we normally do. Just make sure you combine your like terms. Yeah. Just scan through them. Well, like, does it always have to be in the press? Does the negative always? No. You mean like here? Yeah, like if we do one seven. It could. Yeah. We're going to get to that when we talk about the standard form. For right now, I'm really, I'm really not caring that much about about that form, okay? So either way is fine right now. I um, mean, if you really did look for x's first, you'd have 32x first, right? You'd have that. And then you would have looked at those, and that would give you negative 7, and you'd write minus 7 there. Can you guys identify that these are, in fact, the same thing? Yes. They're exactly the same. Yeah, it doesn't matter what order for right now. So I'm going to mark either one will be right. That's right. When you get on into a later math, um, you're going to find out there's something called standard form for polynomials, which means that you're going to have a certain way you write things. And typically, the way you write things is in descendant exponential form. So you're going to have like an exponent, exponent of 3, 2, 1, and then a number. So that's, that's typically how we write that. We'll get to that later. Okay, I want to get to one more today together. I'll give you a couple do on your own, and then we'll be out of here. We could all do that one, right? Right? Right. Yes. Yes. Right. Can we do this one too? Yeah. What you doing, Mr. Brennan? I know, right? Yeah. Listen, it's nothing different from things we've already done. It's just now you have two different pieces to it. So I want to go through this step by step with you, show you exactly how we're going to do this problem, um, and I'll give you a couple doing your own that you can practice. So.